Do you have a favorite instrument? Tell me, how many instruments can you name? Family Dynamics, Embrace Your Sound. Written by Courtney Val Woodward. Illustrated by Tu Fu. Violin lived in a local music store. She had been there all her life and never ventured away from her family of instruments, the string family. Violin, cello, double bass, and viola. Every day, Violin heard enchanting music coming from other parts of the store. But no matter what she tried, she couldn't make the same incredible sounds. One day, a little girl picked Violin up and didn't put her back. Bells jingled against the store's front door. The store owner, Miss Marilyn, closed early and didn't notice that Violin had been misplaced. Music still played in the distance. Now's my chance, squealed Violin. I can finally go find those sounds. As Violin swiftly snuck to the back, she bumped into a family of instruments. Hi there, we're the Woodwind family. Hi, Violin bounced with glee. I wish I could sound like you. I've tried, but I can't. See? Well, for us to make a sound, we need air flowing through us. I'm flute, and I am one of the highest pitched instruments in the symphony orchestra. Welcome to our corner of the store. Piccolo piped up, but I'm the highest voice. Flute then introduced clarinet, oboe, and bassoon. They also needed air to make a sound, but had reeds made of cane. Violin was surprised at how different they all were. Their sounds were different too. Suddenly, Violin heard a very low voice, and curiosity struck. She dashed around the corner so fast, she forgot to say goodbye. Hello, the voice bellowed. Violin felt a little nervous, but before she could say anything, a cheerful instrument twirled toward her. Don't be scared, that's just tuba. He's one of the lowest sounding instruments and rounds out the sound of the symphony orchestra, the cheerful instrument said. My name is Trumpet. I am the brightest sounding instrument in my family. This is French horn. We are all part of the brass family. We have valves and need air to make a sound. I don't need air to make a sound. I have a bow and strings, Violin said sadly. I wish I could sound like you. Violin quickly noticed one particular brass instrument. Wait, you don't have valves at all. <gasps> Wide-eyed in wonderment. You're right, Violin. I'm trombone and I have a slide. I still need air to make a sound, but my slide helps me change pitch. He played from high to low and back to high again. Pretty cool, huh? Trombone said proudly. But Violin was already around the next corner, hoping to see more instruments. Next, she found the percussion family. Violin's eyes grew wide. Wow! Whoa! Your family is so big! Tambourine responded. Oh, there are many more, as he pointed behind him. When we are struck, scraped, or shaken, he explained, we help keep the pulse in the symphony orchestra and add sound effects to the music. I definitely don't sound like you, Violin responded, hanging her head. If you head to the way, way back, I bet you sound more like Miss Grand Piano, said Snare Drum hoping to cheer Violin up. Thanks! Violin waved goodbye and went on her way. At the back of the store, she found a grand piano with strings inside. Hello, little one. You seem to be in a hurry. 
where are you headed? Miss Grand Piano said sweetly in a southern drawl. I always hear pretty music in the store, but can never sound quite like the other instruments. You have strings like me. Can I sound like you? Violin asked hopefully. Miss Grand Piano responded, I do have strings, but I have keys too. 88 to be exact. When my keys are pressed, a hammer inside hits my strings to make a sound. So I'm part of two families, percussion and strings. Oh, I don't have any keys. Violin felt discouraged. Don't you want to be with your family, dear? You should head back toward the front of the store. Bells jingled against the store's front door. Violin neared her section and stopped suddenly in her tracks. There, in front of her, were all four instrument families in perfectly rounded arcs, playing together. As Violin stepped closer to the full ensemble, she could hear all of the instrument's voices from high to low and everything in between. Whether they had strings, valves, a slide, or made fun sound effects, all of the instruments blended together beautifully, creating enchanting, colorful sounds. Violin was able to hear the true beauty of different instruments all performing as one. Violin caught a glimpse of her family. They were smiling, waving, and pointing to an empty seat right at the front. Violin sat down, beaming with pride, as she looked at her family and her new friends. Are you ready? asked the conductor. Violin looked up with a crescendo of confidence, her bow in playing position. The end. Thank you for reading this story with us. Today we learned that when you embrace your differences, you can change the way you view yourself and others. And remember my little elephants, Learning Bell's character. A kind heart keeps you smart and elephants never forget. Catch you next time.